2-2. For each account, identify whether the changes would be recorded as a debit or a credit. So remember that in chapter two, we started looking at debits and credits, and we're gonna use them to do journal entries, okay? And you've got this assets equals liability plus equity, you know, accounting equation that we've talked about. And if you draw a line underneath it with a T under the equal sign, then you'll notice there's a right side and a left side. I'm sorry, a left side and a right side. So um, debit means left, credit means right. And then whatever side the account falls on, so like the assets are on the left side, then you would increase with a debit and you would decrease with the credit, okay? Liabilities and equity would be the opposite. You would increase with a credit and you would decrease with a debit, okay? All right, so would the changes be recorded as a debit or a credit? All right, accounts increase to accounts receivable. All right, accounts receivable is an asset. Since it's an asset, increases are recorded with a debit. So you would increase with a debit. Decrease to unearned revenue. All right, unearned revenue is a liability. So if it's a liability, you're gonna increase with the credit, decrease with the debit. So we want to decrease with a debit. Decrease to cash. Cash is an asset. It's decreasing, so I'm gonna decrease with a credit. So you might notice the first thing that I'm doing is noting what type of, of account it is. And then based on the type of account, that's how you know if you debit or credit to make whatever change. All right, so increase to interest expense. Interest expense is an element of equity. All right, and it decreases equity. Since it decreases equity, then we want to record it with an expense, with a debit. So an increase to expense is like a decrease to equity. So therefore, it's a debit. All right, increase to salaries payable. Salaries payable is a liability. If it's going up, then I'm going to credit. All right, prepaid rent. Prepaid rent is an asset and decreases to assets are recorded with a credit. Increase to common stock. Common stock is equity. It's increasing, so you increase with a credit. Increase to note receivable. Notes receivable is an asset, so you're going to increase with a debit. All right, decrease to accounts payable. Accounts payable is a liability, so you're going to decrease with a debit. All right, and increase to revenue. So like the expense up here, you have to figure out what the effect is on equity because this is an element of equity. All right, it increases equity, revenue does. So an increase to revenue is recorded with a credit because that's what increases equity.